Hello everyone, welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're going to do another short episode of doing a quest line, well, not quest line, of, uh, of this video here, we're going to do another video quickly of Syracuse, we're doing a dungeon. Now, there's lots of different dungeons in the game. Early on, pretty much the only dungeon that you'll be focusing on will be... Syracuse. Now there's other ones like Bordeaux, which you may end up going to at some point. But as of right now, Syracuse is the one that I am the most familiar with. Actually, it's probably the only dungeon I've ever done because I've just never gone very far. But Syracuse is such a simple dungeon that I figured I ought to show you how to do it real fast so that you have an idea of how it works. and how to complete it and what your purpose is what you might get out of it if it's worth money doing it what rewards you might get and how much battle experience you'll get so naturally being a battle job that would be the first and foremost thing to do uh, I'm still a junior officer because that's what I'm going to be focusing on myself is uh, battle runs, which while I'm in Syracuse, I'm going to see if there is a battle report <clears throat> that I could do in Syracuse. I don't know if there's quests I can do there. I honestly don't remember, but that might be what I might look into. Um, but for right now, let's just show you how to do the dungeon. And I probably should have sailed to the dungeon to show you how it's done first, but this is a great opportunity to pretty much explain why I uh, am equipped the way that I am equipped. Let's see. Alright, so, be in a battle job. Go get some defense items. Items with some decent defense. This you could buy here in Seville. The Feathered Morian Helm. Give some boost to some skills like Guard. I don't know how important that is. It's going to be for you. Um, but the Guard skill, in case you're curious, is right here. Temporary increases the defense power during melee battle. So that would be for in the middle of your deck battles when you're you're at sea. So it has nothing to do with what we're about to do here. Sword play is a skill you might get. Yep, because it increases the attack power of close range weapons and land battles. So this is one you're gonna definitely need. Sword Mastery would be another one that you want to get, but you can't get it until your sword play level 3, so I'm not there yet either. And then once you do, you're going to go to Athens to the Maritime Guild, or Bahia, and talk to Cabral and get it as well. So that's something I'll probably focus on at some point. Maybe when I'm over there in Secure Syracuse, I don't know if I'll hit the proficiency of 800, but if I do, great, then I'll go get Sword Mastery. Because I got, I got a skill slot available for it. Um, so these, these two are for ship battles. This is also for ship battles. Oh, no land battles too. So, it's another one you might want to get, but you need to have, you need to have, uh, sword play three. So that's the first set of skills you might want to get. Sword play, plunder, and sword mastery if possible. These are all ship battle skills. Gunfire if you're somebody... Uh, who uses guns. Uh, I don't know if these... Yeah. These might also affect how your use of those kinds of weapons as well. Um, these are for sh for the sea, not for uh, land battles. So, that's pretty much the only skills you really need to, to have. Not so important for anything else. So these these three right here are going to be your main skills. You don't need any others. The others are all the others are all um for sea battles. So that's what you're going to get first: sword play, sword mastery, and plunder. Once you hit level three, you might also want to get things like marching, um, just to help reduce fatigue. But that's really not that necessary. Ooh. Oh man. I didn't 
didn't cancel my auto navigation in time. Because there's some significant pirates over here in a battle. But you know what? I'm not. They wouldn't count towards my battle run that I'm caught up in because I'm not in the Strait of Gibraltar. So, although they're bigger ships, they are not going to count towards my battle report. Okay. So, that's the first thing. Um, but I said uh, get some equipment to get this here. Um, increases guard, uh, not important. Increases gunnery, not important. But you get this from doing school, but it, and it has decent uh, defense for early stuff. So go ahead and just use that until it breaks. Um, the mittens are not that important. I might take them off because they don't really add much defense. Um, I just happen to have these. These are my sail handling mittens, so they make me sail a little bit faster. Don't think it's that important to have them equipped. Buckle boots, these are cheap. You can get them pretty much in any major city. I uh, probably should have replaced them. Because they'll probably break, but they only give two power. And then you need a sword. Uh, it's a long sword is what I'm using in this case, but you could use other swords. I have other swords, obviously. Um, but this is the one that I'm going to use for this because I want to show you. I don't want to use like the most powerful sword stuff that I have. And then... I don't have many other uh, things to fill my accessory slot here, so I just threw my fisherman's gear. Uh, it's not that important. So, no, we'll just leave that. Leave that off. I don't want this to take durability damage. It costs a million for this. It's the most valuable thing I'm wearing right now. Now, your aid does not assist in battle. Um, if they have boosts in battle, that's one thing, but I don't have any aids that do that. This is for winning deck battles. So, nothing here that's going to, nothing that gives me any ad, uh, advantage at sea, at sea or in battle. Getting closer. What else? Um, oh, your inventory. Some things you might want to bring with you. Um... You might want to bring some ointments to heal yourself. Uh, in this case, I don't have any ointments. Oh, yeah, I do. There's ointments that'll heal you. I'll get the better uh, shopper, peddler, forget which. And throwing torches. These are great ways to do some, you know, increased damage when you've uh, reached a certain point in the battle. You can throw one of these and do extra damage. Uh, I got a poison jar, which is great if you're looking to poison your enemies. Use this on some more difficult enemies. And that's pretty much all I need to bring with me. I don't know what to do with this company special item permits. So look that up. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I need to bring. Bring some sort of ointment to heal yourself um, while you're in battle. You don't need to heal yourself outside of battle, but in battle, that's what you'll do. don't need amulet of sons. They don't do anything. Let's check in with the world. Hey world, how's it been? Let's see if anyone recognizes me. Probably not. Some people have been trying to meet me in game here and I have not been available because I've been so busy. Hey, it's Al.
Al, Al was a good friend of, well, not a good friend, but necessarily, he was one of the, uh, um, he ran one of the guilds I was in on this character for a little while that I switched uh, from, and uh, he was always very helpful. If you're ever looking for some help, Alan Attack would be great. Hmm. Rat infestation. But I have no way to eradicate it. I don't have eradication. I do not. Do my aids. And a plague. Well, luckily we're going to be landing soon. Because I don't have eradication. Maybe that's something I'll get. I don't seem to have a eradication. That's one of the ones that I wish I did have. That's for sure. See, the plague's reducing my durability. Getting things at sea sucks. Especially when you're five seconds away from pulling into some place. Alright. We're good. We made it. Also, I need some sailors. Okay. So, I'm going to get pop into the harbor here. Last one I was driving the officials to the E8 ports. That one was a little, a little while ago. I did a few shorter ones recently. Grinding repair was my most recent. All right, so here we are in Syracuse. Now, where do we go? You're going to go to the church. So you're going to go to the church, and you're going to go up to this spot here where it says, oh, what's this? Click, and there's your dungeon. So in Syracuse, this is where you enter the dungeon. Um, there's an upper floor. There might be a lower floor later on, but um, all you need to do is just click it, and you go all head in. So I'll show you how to do it.